Hello, welcome to Cable Plus Property, your number one online educative platform where we provide all Nigerians and non-Nigerians easy access to every information related to land and landed properties. We ensure that you have the right information and knowledge about building construction, registration of properties, documentation, and obtaining your planning permit. In this episode, I'll be speaking with another erudite scholar. She's a town planner by profession. In fact, she is the chairperson of the Association of Women Town Planners, Lagos State chapter. Her name is town planner Mrs. Ayola Tibitayo in Legbede. Come with me. What are, what are the other plans that we have in Lagos State to guide physical development? Are there any plans or something? Uh, there are other lower plans. We have action area plans. We have uh, infrastructural plans that want to guide out the roads, everything. We have development plans. Now, the, on Lagos Island, Lagos Island is a it's a serious case. Have you been to Lagos Island before? Yeah, not often, but I think I have. In which part? I can't remember. Have you been to the inner core? No. So they have now started Lagos Regenerational Master Plan hmm. to put some things into order and to upgrade certain things on the island. So we have series that must be attended to. Mm. Because when you prepare a master plan, that will give you the general overview of that area. But each area, each local government, has its own problem. So there must be action area plans to link them to. Are, are these plans, these plans, um, are they meant for the public? Very and if, if they are, how accessible or how can members of the public access them? They are accessible. Just go to Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development. I don't know how much they sell it now. When I was there, it's 10,000. Anyone you want, you pay for it because government paid for those things. People are saying it should be given freely. Mm -hmm. Government paid for consultants. <laughs> to generate all these things. So they have subsidized it. So if you want to use it, you should be able to educate yourself. Mm. And there are some now, they are online. Just go go. Yeah, I was, I was about asking that. Can you online you now, just go go. Legal State, Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development. You will see all their activities. But those master plans are not there. Mm. Okay. Then, but they will just give you the list. You yeah. have to go to the office to purchase. You have to go to the office to purchase. How will, how will government equip their money if everything is now free? You know the cost of printing, cost of this, cost of that. The government is for the people. Oh, well, the people too need to contribute their own cost. They're, they're doing that by paying taxes. How many people are paying taxes? How many people, my sister, how many people are paying taxes? Mm. If people have their way, they will not pay anything. And that's why town planners have now, they've turned us to, I don't know, maybe my brother will. They have turned town planners to tax collectors. Mm. Because if you want to <laughs> get your building plan approval, mm -hmm. after processing, it takes them um, less than 10 days now. Mm. Your approval is ready, but you have to be tax compliant. You now go to tax office and start. If it takes you the next 20 years to sort them, they will not release the approval. Mm. So as to force people to pay taxes. To pay taxes. Interesting. <laughs> now, uh, you retired from the Lagos State Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development as a director. Uh, that's director at the Regional and Master Plan yeah. Department. Doing so we'd that. like you to explain in very clear terms, if possible in layman language, um, what village excitation mm. is and the expectation of the government from the family who owns the land before selling it. Village excision. What does excision mean? 
exertion is cut off or carved out from a portion. Village exertion, they are the land government acquired from indigenous owners. Now, they have now released it back to them. That, okay, you can go and have this. The portion released must have perimeters of it to show the extent, the boundaries of this is the portion we have released to you. There are other processes. It must be legally binded. You can't just say, ah, you have released this and you go there. You have to go to land. And it must be gazetted so that in the government record it will be shown that this place has been excised. That is when you can now say you are free. Because if they say, say go, uh, we have released it, <laughs> and you go there, and they come, they say it's still part of us. Mm. You have not perfected the document. But when you have the gazette, that shows this boundary to show you all the beacons, how it goes. Then you can be rest assured that government had released it. Then, what do you expect the homonilers or the landowners to do? Mm -hmm. Of course, they want to sell. And this issue of layouts comes in. It depends on the number of acres or hectares released it's purely for residential if we want to sell don't forget they too we have to do the layout cut it into how they they will show us the position when they say something is residential not that everything will be residential there are other complementary uses because if we have a large estate, all of us are living there. Nowhere to recreate. No community center. No school for the... But according to the hectare or acres, town planners have proportion of what should be allotted to commercial, your institutional, your place of worship you cannot say just little all those things will be there then they too need to go to land for sea of all don't forget the layout must be prepared by registered town planner after all this with the gazette they now come back to physical planning hmm. development matters department that we look at it whether what they have done will sustain human existence or not when they have completed that paid necessary fees it becomes approved and officially theirs mm. <laughs> and officially. okay so, so when you want to buy mm -hmm. They will show you your portion. This layout is already with them. They will chart it. I think there's one more thing you should do. I'm beginning to forget. Then you will go for its ratification. Because there is a sea of wood that covers it. So you still need to tell and how you got your own. And your proof of ownership to Ministry of Physical Planning before you two can go and build. That's a lot of process involved. Let's go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Cable Plus Property, the hub of professionals in the built environment and the number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed property. At Cable Plus Property, 
Our aim is to ensure that all Nigerians and non-Nigerians have at the tip of your fingers, free of charge, all information on landed martyrs. We provide you with all information you need to know about land procurement, land documentation and development, planning permit procurement, building construction and so on. Join us today for free by subscribing to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on our social media platforms and check us on our website www.cableplusproperty.com. Together, we shall make our environment better, spend and build right. Welcome back. It's still the Kibu Plus Property Show, and I've been speaking with town planner Timitayo Ayola in Ligbede. <laughs> so, um, why is site selection and evaluation necessary for physical development of various land use activities? Mm. Site selection, very, very necessary. You know, I've told you, I mentioned Master and Model City Plan, that they are guide. Yes, sir. So, if you come and you say, Let's say this place, this place, you want to buy it. We will expect you to give us your survey. Let's look at the survey. We will chat the survey in this master plan. What do you, what, what is your intention? You said, ah, in, I want to build an industry here. And the master plan says residential. You know you are looking for trouble. So, before you go for anything on land, please make proper clarification. Look at the uses. When you come to Ministry of Physical Planning with that survey, make inquiries because there are a lot of deceit outside there. Make your inquiry. There is a department they call Physical Planning. Department. They will chat it. They will give you the number of heights you can go the density, what you can do, if what you can do, if what you want to do is not there, they will guide you as to other uses so that it won't become wastage for you. Mm. After building, after wasting your money, wasting everything. And you now come back and find that the sites that I selected cannot cater for what you will mm. feel bad. And that is where the punitive measure or action of a town planner comes in. When you now, you know, we have political will at times that dictate the pace and say, ah, oh, my shame you. Okay. We're not selling this place, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, we won't sell this place. I'm just giving it as any. Yeah, you I won't understand. sell. This is residential now. Hmm. And uh, institutional use. It's a complimentary use in a residential place because our children must go to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our children must go to school. Okay. So as the chairperson of the Association of Women Town Planners, Lagos State Chapter, how do you think women town planners can assist in the economic development of our nation, Nigeria, uh, putting into consideration how bad we've gone economically as a nation <laughs> women town planners we are already doing women have been doing don't, don't think it's only women town planners that needs to sort out things in the environment when we were growing because when you are starting saying that means you are limiting how many of us in the population mm. when we planning has started a long time ago when we were growing, our mother, when they wake up, they clear the compound, they do these things. And I remember when these uh, developments started coming in my state, when they said nobody should be building uh, toilets outside, restroom outside, kitchen, everything. They rejected it, that mm. everything should be self contained. They said, wow, lie, lie. I won't mention my state. <laughs> <laughs> but all of us don't limit it to town planners there is little we can see hmm. this area, this is my first time of coming here that's why the fact that I was the, a district officer here 
That was why I was able to maneuver my way here. Mm. The environment belongs to all. When you see things that are bad, please shout. When you see it, say something. See, don't just keep quiet. Write this thing. Report. A report. Write this thing and send it to the authority. They will look into it. But when you see it, and you, how many will the government see? Mm. How many? Where you are living, if you see anything that is wrong, you see somebody building on the drainage, you say, then, eh, okay, all of you will suffer for it. There is a place in where I'm living now. The Omonile sold, they said the road that the, the layout did by their father was done in an error that they, they did not know what they were doing then. So they just decided to block one road. They said, The community started looking at the man. They did not say anything. Now when there is flooding, if you see there are road, so, and water will find its level. The water started distributing this water. Now they are calling town planners. I don't know whether the man has approval or not. Because by that action, the man, the, the space behind was also blocked. Mm. They made it a close. Is that the criteria for making a close? When you want to make a close, that is what we call cool the sack. And it has a turning radius. So that vehicle will maneuver and there will be drainage. How will they do their drainage? So they have turn the drainage to u ship hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see trouble wow. and the uh, the street is now a little bit higher hmm. so their street is in depression so any little flooding any little mistake it's coming to suicide <laughs> yeah, so everybody's now looking hmm. that's very dangerous you see now that's the that's what people create and that's what we see so it's not only a female town planner all of us the stakeholders, it is our environment. We have to use it and reuse it. All of us will go. We have to leave it. Nobody has say or nobody has grip over land. Yorubas, we love land. It's my property. I don't want to part with it. There is no problem. When we were coming, I saw one and I pitied the man. I said, the man must have suffered. The, the father must have suffered. When building such, thing. but the children can no longer salvage the building. The building is now that is one man's money being wasted. So let's live and let other live to create a conducive environment. Now we are in it. We must continue to improve and sustain the existence of humanity, my sister. Thank you very much for your time. So as we round up, I'll just ask a few questions about Cable Plus property. Like, how often do you listen to our program on YouTube? And have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? I want to see you. As from listening, as from seeing, I see everything you do. I have not subscribed. Okay. I, but, my, but, my, your com <laughs> but your invitation, I sent a message home. Hmm. Hmm. We'd also like you to speak about... The program generally, how do you think it's benefiting the public and what advice do you, do you have to give and what do you want to tell the viewers about the program? The, I see the program being an enlightened one for the people so as not to kill themselves. Why did I say kill? Make inquiries. Anything you want to do on land, make inquiries. There is a place where I live. It's government acquisition, committed acquisition. I'm trying to define the word kill. Committed acquisition. The Omonilas deceived the man. They stood by him. He built. It was a day to the wedding program. Minister of Physical Planning demolished that place. Do you think the man will be healthy again? 
That's why I say it's an enlightenment program. I pray people listen to it. With this economic hardship, when you ask somebody, they said, say, mm. Mm. I hope Yoruba is allowed once. Yeah. So if people can listen to it, you are saving lives. You are also creating your own way of solving problems. This is where you should go. This is what you should do. If you need approval, go this way. If you want to buy, go this way. If you want to do this thing, go that way. These are the things you supply. These are the things you don't do. Give us six meters here. Yeah? Give us three, three meters for uh, commercial. Give us, that's what you are doing. You are enlightening the public so that there will be peace at Ministry of... You are part. Mm. You are an extension. Yeah. We're doing a part of the job. Of part of the job. You are equally helping the government. If after all these things, somebody still feels his father owns everywhere and he, did that, and he decided to do otherwise, then what happened? That is his own business. Mm. Thank yes. you very much for your time. I believe you subscribe after this. That's why I said your message and your invitation has sent message to mm. me. Thank you for as you subscribe and thank you for being on the show. I really enjoyed speaking with you. Thank you thank so much you. for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Isa. God okay. bless you. I would draw the curtain there. Mm -hmm. And that was the conversation with the chairperson of the Association of Women Town Planners, Lagos State Chapter Town Planner, Mrs. Timitayo Ayola Ilebrede. I trust that you've learned and I trust that you will. Click the subscribe button below this video, hit the like and also share this video with friends, family and colleagues. Don't forget to also head on to our social media pages, Instagram, Facebook at Cable Plus Property. My name is Oiza and I'll see you another time.